Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're gonna learn how to play Hook as recorded by Blues Traveler on guitar. Now this song has just one main chord progression that repeats over and over throughout the entire song. I'm gonna show you what I think is one of the easiest ways to play this. We're gonna use one bar chord, but don't worry, I'll show you an easier version if bar chords are too hard for you as well. So I'm gonna break the whole thing down, the chords and the strumming pattern. But before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with a gift right away for spending some time with me here on my channel. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some exclusive handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching the videos, you're going to get so much more out of being able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. So check that out as my gift to you at the first link down below. And with that said, Let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Hook as recorded by Blues Traveler on guitar. Now this whole song is just one repeated chord progression and it's four bars of chords. I'm gonna jam on it first so you can hear what it sounds like and then I'll break it down. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's one time through the chord progression. And first I'll show you the chord shapes that I'm playing here. So we've got an A, and I'm playing this from the fifth string down. Open, two, 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 open. And I like playing it with these fingers, so middle, index, ring. But you can play it any way you want. You could do this, or this, or one finger. From there, we're gonna go to an E chord. And that's all six strings. Open, two, two, one, open, open. Then we've got one bar chord we're gonna play. This is F sharp minor. And this is like an E minor bar chord shape here at the second fret. That's two, four, four, two, two, two. Then go to C sharp seven. And that looks like a C chord, just up one fret, and then we're gonna add the pinky on the third string. So four, three, four, two. Now it's important to mute with this chord. You wanna mute the low E and the high E. Now some people play this chord like this, but you could do that as well, four, six, four, six, four, but I think it's easier actually to play more like a C shape and not bar. Then we go to a D from the fourth string down, open, two, three, two. Back to A, then D again, then E, and that's it. So each one of those chords lasts two counts. So I would start by just playing along with the recording and working out those chords. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then repeat. That's it, that's the whole song. So you may see that I play this chord, this F sharp minor with my thumb. So if you see that, that's all I'm doing. And if the bar chord is too hard, you know, try the thumb chord or you can just play the top four strings. Four, two, two, two. So practice that, then from there, you wanna add a little bit more rhythm. And this song has kind of a funky feel to it. I'm thinking more 16th notes, like in my head I'm thinking one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Okay, so you can start out by going one and two E and a. That's down, 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 up. Then go to E and go down, up, down, 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 up. That's da, 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 da. So. One and two E and a three E and a four E and a. So you could use that progression, or that strumming pattern rather, through the progression. So. Now 
as it gets going, you can syncopate the second chord. So the way it works is it comes on the last 16th note of beat two. So like one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three. So that would sound like this if I kept that strumming pattern the same. But I just change one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a A. So let's try it together. We're gonna jam on it four times and then we'll end on an A chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two more times. Last time. Congrats on making it through this classic blues traveler tune. Start by just making sure that you've got the chords together and then add the rhythm and jam along with the recording. And to help you along your way, be sure to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna make learning from my YouTube lessons so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. Also, let me know down below your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support with the videos, and we'll see you in another one real soon. Mm -hmm.